So how did you um, transition from your from your, your your grandmother garage to your first first uh, spot? Yeah. <coughs> so how, how big was it? So my first spot, well, my first spot was the G garage. You know, hella raggly up in there, all messy. I call I used to call it the dungeon. You feel me? Like y'all may come to the dungeon. You know, print shirt. And then um, from there, I bought a loft. You know what I'm saying? In West Oakland, and at the bottom of the loft was basically the same situation, but ain't gonna be no dungeon no more. Ain't gonna be hella messy, you feel me? Ain't figuring it out. I know what it's like to have a messy shop, and I don't want one no more, you know what I'm saying? And so, bought a loft in West Oakland, and um, that's where we put it at. So, the process, you know, it was a, a cold grind. So, before that, I met my wife, right? Who was my girlfriend at the time. I was dropping off some shirts, at Bayfair Mall and um, met her at the mall, you know what I'm saying, dropping off shirts. And, you know, when I first when I first met her, I told her what I did. And uh, <clears throat> she was like, oh, T-shirts for real? I was like, yeah, my mama gets shirts done all the time. Woo woo. I said, oh, that's cool, that's cool. So she put her mom on the phone, boom. She like, mom, I met this guy, he do T-shirts. I was like, hey, how you doing? She said, oh yeah, you do shirts? I get shirts done like every two or three, uh, every two or three months. I said, okay, cool. He had like 500 shirts a time. I'm like, what? I'm like, cool. And then um, she was like, okay, uh, well, I pay like $5 a shirt. Can you can you match it? I'm like, yeah. It's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And so met, met, met her. And then, you know, me and my wife, well, we've been together ever since. You know what I'm saying? But my mom, she, I mean, my mother-in-law, she was an activity director at a uh, school in Pittsburgh. And so that was the one part of their job is to get t-shirts for the school. So she gave me a lot of game on how I go with dealing with schools and uh, the t-shirt situation to the point she like, they got this programs, different programs. And you know, they have their own little conferences. You know what I'm saying? As you go to, it's like, you need to go to this conference. You need to go to that conference, set up shop, make you a catalog, woo woo. Just gave me the whole game. You know what I'm saying? And so that was one of our first little avenues was going out to the school market. But I'm saying that to say, you know, I got married. Me and my wife, we bought a loft together with the intent purpose of having a business and a spot and a spot to work at. And that was my first spot outside of the g garage and then from near we was there for probably about three years or whatever and then we want to get an automatic press right a bigger machine so a bigger machine you got to get other equipment you got to get a big air compressor you got to get a bigger dryer you got to just need more room more electricity so you need a commercial facility and so we ended up getting a spot over there on doolittle it was our first spot it was like 1500 square feet feet, yeah, 1,500 square feet, you know what I mean? Put the auto up in there, got the auto from Mexico, you know what I'm saying? And um, put that thing up in there. And man, that was our first uh, commercial facility, you know what I'm saying? So that was pretty, that was pretty dope, you know? How big was that? It was 1,500 square feet. 1,500 square yeah. feet. Yeah, so I don't know how big my grandma's spot was, hella small, like a two car tandem garage, you know, the little skinny ones, you feel yeah. me? But really the area I use, yeah, it's like two cars, but tandem, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and so, and then my uh, loft was probably about a little bit bigger than that, you know what I mean? But it was mine, you know what I'm saying? And it was actually, you know, mine, you know what I mean? And so that was cool. And then we went to, uh, to 900 Doolittle and you know, that's when it was just only the shop. Ain't you no know, house and shop, it's straight the shop, you know what I mean? And it's way more professional, you know what I mean? You got customers coming over and they ain't, you ain't, they ain't at your house, you feel me? And so, you know, it's a real commercial facility. We have room, we can grow. Now we got an automatic, you know what I mean? So now we pop, 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 you know what I'm saying? Being able to knock shit down. And um, we have just automatic and two manuals, you know what I mean? Then a little time went by, we bought our first embroidery machine, you know what I'm saying? Got a nice two-head machine. And the funny thing about that, you know, we used to contract our embroidery out to this one dude, right? He was cool at first, you know? And uh, when I told him we was finna get an embroidery machine, I think he was gonna be happy for us or whatever. I don't know why I was thinking that, but... But he was, he was a black dude, and uh, he was a technician too, so he knew how to work on the machines. He you know he knew about the machines, so I called him like, hey man, how much you charge me to go look at this machine? Let me know if it's a piece of shit or not, right? Ah, 
What? You from buying a machine? Oh, man, I can't help you do that. Man, you taking money out of my mouth. Ooh, taking food out of my mouth. Ooh, like, for real? Oh, he was a buster. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. I'm like, what you think gonna happen? I ain't gonna buy a machine because you mad. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna buy it anyway. I'm gonna buy even faster now, so I ain't gotta pay you no nothing else. You know what I'm saying? And so he was a buster. You know what I mean? Little Lance. But anyway, 